so getting back to, to my question about if there was ever a, an, a time or an occasion where you were, maybe you mistakenly heard um, or you were wrong in giving a word or, or what have you, you know, is there an, a specific experience that you can remember where that happened and, and how did you deal with that? I mean, how did mm -hmm. you, what was the process? That... I think for me, I can, it, it most often ties into where, when I feel pulled by people and I know they want something and I, I really want to I, I really want to help meet that need it, it really flows out but it's not really exactly what the Holy Spirit's saying if you're not careful ego can also come into it yeah. you get a reputation yes. and so you've got to and, and that is so destructive you know people don't need a word from Dan and I think that's where people go wrong yes. is they try to live up to a reputation or they eat, or they try to meet the, the the needs of people rather than just be sensitive to what the holy spirit's saying there's been those times where i've really felt like i said something too quickly or i i should have prayed maybe i should have prayed rather than spoke this out often i'll catch myself and cut it off because i realize what's happening uh, but there have been times where I just would go ahead and finish, but it really wasn't wasn't the Holy Spirit. Mm. But you know, I think we we really have to keep in mind that there's room for mistakes. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't need to be very careful. Mm. There, there's got to be a certain amount of respect for it that you you don't just want to be loose with it either. Mm. You really want to be sensitive to what the Spirit's saying. It's the Holy Spirit flowing out, and we're, we're totally responsible for what we're, we're doing. How does that make you feel, or mm. does that sound right to you, is what I'll often ask. Mm. And if I've had a few times where they just kind of know nothing. And I've learned over the years not to fight it. I mean, there's sometimes you can come back and explain. If it's a word-for-word -word thing that the Holy Spirit gives you, you can't really explain too much. <laughs> But if it's just a thought, mm. if it's just an impression, uh, you can, you've got room to explain a little bit to, for their understanding. Mm. And so I'll often you know, try to explain further. But then, then there's those times that they're just not getting it. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll usually say, if, if, the, if it doesn't make sense to you, don't worry about it. Mm. Pray about it. Be open to what the Holy Spirit's saying. But, but, but don't, you don't feel you have to just take it. It, it needs to make sense to you. Mm. And because again, for me, them owning it, them getting it oh, is really important because of the gift for them. Mm -hmm. And then if you try to defend yourself, like, no, this is what the Lord told me. I, I think you're, you're harming them and you're backing yourself into a corner that could be mm -hmm. kind of dangerous. Mm -hmm. I, I, could, I could say amen to all that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's see, the question was, what do you do? Or have, have you ever been wrong? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's hard to admit. <laughs> of course you. <laughs> but the, the trouble is that when you're wrong in this area, you're really wrong. I mean, it's, it's embarrassing. Mm. Usually the, you get launched into this kind of ministry with a very strong impression that gives you the courage to start it all, you know. Mm -hmm. But after a while, then you can kind of coast a little, you know, yeah, the, yeah. out of habit. And uh, when that happens, then uh, that's when I go wrong. Or if there is a congregation or a person, a group that are asking for a word and I'm trying to accommodate them, mm -hmm. there's where the flesh comes in and, and the pride of man, and, and which the Holy Spirit despises, you know. I've learned to ask, um, sort of like Dan mentioned, I sense the Lord is giving me this word to you, but um, I want you to know how you feel about us. How, how, what does this say to you? I saw an accident one time, which was very vivid in my mind, uh, of a car accident. And when I described it, it just helped this lady to identify a fear that she had and, mm -hmm. and a blame that she had mm -hmm. felt because uh, someone had died in that crash and the guilt and so on. It, it just opened up the, re the whole wound so it could be cleansed and yes. healed, you know. Mm -hmm. There are th those kind of things that, are, when they're accurate, they're just wonderful. 
But when you say, well, I see a, a sense that the Lord is showing me this, and you describe this vision or whatever it might be, and they look at you as if <laughs> they're not there, you know. <laughs> and um, when that happens, I'll say, well, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not infallible. And that's one of the things that we always have to watch because people do get that attitude that you're yeah, infallible. Yeah, yeah. And there's none infallible except God. And so I say, I'm not, I'm not infallible. I, can, I make mistakes. It's very easy for me to, get, to speak in the flesh rather than the spirit. And I'm sorry if I've uh, hindered your faith or anything like that. Because I really do feel that way, too. Mm -hmm, I've also had people, when I gave them a word that they have told someone else afterwards nearby, uh, that didn't mean a thing to me, you know. Mm. And then the person comes to me and says, well, they said that that didn't mean anything to them at all. I think commitment is one thing I've learned to do, is say, well, I don't understand that. I thought it was a word that the Lord gave me, and I don't want to hurt your faith. I don't want to be a stumbling block. but. Um, I couldn't bring myself to admit that that it, I felt it was wrong, mm -hmm. that I'd made a mistake. I, 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 in my heart, I really felt I had said the right thing. Mm -hmm. And so in that case, and instead of arguing with them and embarrassing them about it, I'll say, well, let's just commit it to the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if we give it to the Lord, then the devil can't take it and use it to damage your faith or mine wow. or anyone else. Okay. And so uh, agree with me, and I get the person involved wow. in it, and let's That's agree good. together. Let's just give it to the Lord and say, Lord, mm -hmm. if, this, if this is of you, then when it's time comes, mm -hmm. you give the witness mm -hmm. to, to my friend here. Yeah. If it's of the flesh, uh, then Lord, just let it, you, you keep it you, mm -hmm. out of reach of the enemy, right. and don't let it become a, a stumbling block to this person. Mm -hmm. It's a prayer more or less of that. Not that you don't want to admit that you could be wrong, and you certainly are aware of that. Yeah. But uh, there have been some times that I, I, I was just sure that word was right. Mm. And then later on, there, there has been confirmation, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But maybe it's also for the sake of us not taking the glory, yeah. too, <laughs> you know. Because if you have to commit it to the Lord, and it's confirmed years later mm. or months later, you know, yeah. uh, and you're nowhere around, you don't get any glory. <laughs> and so, the whole, mm. and the Holy Spirit is jealous. He's a jealous lover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he just wants to keep our eyes on Jesus, you know. Mm -hmm. so. I, I remember one time, um, I had this word for this man who was sitting on the front row, and it was really, it was a prayer time, and it was really strong. And I gave it. It was a little corrective, but I, I've learned to, over the years to be very careful how you give those kind mm -hmm. of words. Mm -hmm. uh, because their whole point is to build people. It's not mm -hmm. to embarrass them or destroy them. And mm -hmm. so I, I gave this word, and, and he just you know, almost violently uh, disagreed. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I said to him, I said, you know, I can be wrong. Just keep the word and, and you know, just pray about it and you know, so forth. And after the meeting was dismissed, his wife came up to me and she said, you nailed it all on the head. Oh, <laughs> and, and so there are times that people can't receive it because it wow. you know, can come very. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think you, you've always got to leave room for, I could have misheard, or mm -hmm. maybe I didn't say it quite right, yeah. or mm -hmm. it's not to, to prove your, your gifting or your, yeah, right. how well you hear God. Mm -hmm. It doesn't validate you. And that timing factor is so important, doesn't right. it? Sometimes we say the right thing, but it's not the right, right time. time. Mm -hmm. That's that, that committing it to the Lord. There was a thought came to my mind, too, that when, the, when the Lord said, um, there are many things I want to say to you, he said to his disciples, but you're not able to bear it. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes we say things, again, the timing, wow. that the person wow. you're giving it isn't Can't ready, it like, like the man no, that you were talking about, to receive it. Either they're fighting conviction or they're just not spiritually mature enough. Uh, who knows? God Living in denial. Knows the heart. Yeah, right. Uh -huh.